Sachin, a lot of people have spoken of this great rivalry over the years between you and the other great batsmen of this era, Brian Lara and Ricky Ponting in particular. When you look at them perform, do you look at that as competition? Hey, these guys are doing this. Brian's got uh, 400 in test cricket. Maybe I need to look at that. Have you over the years looked at them as competitors who you need to constantly better? Not really. I mean, I uh, obviously I have I have followed Brian's career very closely. He's a good friend of mine, and uh, you know we, we've shared various things with each other and uh, you know discuss how he would approach a particular match or how I would approach, what would be my mental setup, all those kind of things. But uh, at no stage I felt uh, we've uh, competed as such. Okay, now uh, everything about your career is celebrated in India. But um, recently in an interview with CNN IBN, Sunny Gavaskar said that if there was one little area of concern with Tendulkar's legacy, it is it was in his two stints as, stints as captain, he was a little bit inflexible as a captain. He had set patterns, set ideas in his mind and probably... Uh, that's one thing he will regret not doing as well as he could have. In your own mind, do you look at captaincy as a failure? No, I don't. I think uh, captaincy is a lot to do with uh, also how the team performs. And, you know, uh, uh, by no means I'm trying to say that uh, the, the players didn't want to perform on and after later on they started performing. Mm. You know, every time a player walks out, he wants to do well. But... Uh, you know, uh, we went to Australia and, uh, you know, we, we, on the entire tour, we never went past 250 to 60 runs. And how do you win if, you, if you're going to score 240 to 250 runs in a test match? So, obviously, all these factors are there. And, and I, don't, I don't blame anyone for that. Sometimes it's just luck. I mean, I, uh, we were playing in Sharjah and I was captaining and against West Indies when the leg spinner was bowling. I had promoted Robin Singh and Robin Singh got on the first ball. Uh, you know, so so there was this flexibility that I promoted someone else, and exactly a week later, Azhar was the captain, and he promoted Robin Singh in in the finals in Bangladesh, and Robin same Robin Singh scored brilliantly. I mean, he scored uh, 86 or 88, and within no time, and and you know he did well. So not that he didn't want to do well in Sharjah, but sometimes you try out things, they don't work out. Final couple of questions, Sachin. Um, the passion of playing for India is something that you've openly spoken of. It's something that has gone down this dressing room. Do you feel like because of this energy in this young dressing room that it's given you the impetus to keep on going in international cricket or are the goals completely driven by how you feel personally? I think how I feel personally is more important. You know, I may have uh, younger players around me, but uh, if within me it's not there... Then it can never be there, and I feel strongly about my cricket. I feel uh, cricket, cricket has given me everything in life, and uh, even today I enjoy cricket like a 16-year-old. I mean, the enthusiasm, uh, the satisfaction, the art of outthinking the opposition, and all those kind of things. You know, I like to do all those things. The one major thing. Uh, is about the latest innings that you played, the 175 that just can't seem to vanish from people's minds. The 175 not out hurt more, Sachin, or did the 136 against Pakistan at Chennai? Which of those two innings ended up hurting you more after the performance you put in and your team lost? I think both both hurt uh, hurt me a lot. And uh, I know uh, everyone was happy and, uh, you know, but... but uh, in the team, we think differently, and uh, as a player, I think differently. I was disappointed. You know, I, I was uh, I was happy that I was able to go so close, but then the final hurdle was not crossed, and then it was a big disappointment for me, and uh, felt terrible. All right, I've got to wrap it up. Unfortunately, time doesn't allow us to keep on chatting to Sachin Tendulkar, but will we be talking in five years' time, celebrating Sachin Tendulkar in 25 years in international cricket? Well, I don't know about that, but. At least at this stage, I, I want to thank the entire nation and uh, for, for all the support, all the love, and all the affection. And can we put one last bit of pressure on you? Please get 13 more hundreds so you can have 100, 100, 100 <laughs> international hundreds. Well, God's grace. I'll, I'll, I'll continue to enjoy the game and whatever has to happen will happen. Thank you very much, Sachin. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure.